What is up guys? You know we got an acoustic tutorial. So it's the song called Rattle Elevation Worship. The song is just getting me pumped every time I listen to it. Wanted to do an acoustic tutorial, show you how to play it. So it's in the key of E flat. So easiest way to get there is gonna be putting a capo, first fret, and then playing in the D shapes. So we got the D, uh, the A sus, the B minor, and then the G. Uh, so it's just, the song is just four chords. Uh, it's got a couple of passing chords that, you know, you hear that riff. Do, 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 do. So I'll show you, show you that chord and that kind of that little riff, but, but it's mainly just four chords. Um, if you want um, to hang to the end of the video or the end of this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play it with those easy G shapes, you know, that easy G, C9, E minor, and D. So if, uh, if you're not quite feeling ready for, the, for these chords in the key of D, um, hang to the end. Or if you wanted to fast forward to that, I'm going to show you how to play with those easy chords. So it's the the intro is is just gonna be um, again. There's really not an acoustic in this song. Uh, it's just kind of you know a lot of electrics and, and drums and bass. So um, you're just gonna hang on this D for the intro if you wanted to come in or if you were just kind of leading it in your own setting at a at a Bible study or whatever it may be. Um, so. Uh, yeah, you just hang on the D, and if you need help on these chords, I'll put a link up top to a video showing you how to play them. Uh, so it's just gonna be, you can do really any type of a strum pattern. And I like to mute out that high E string when I play. Sometimes, given the song, if it sounds right, if it feels right, so I'm just kind of muting out that high E string. So the verse, Saturday was silent, surely it was through. Since when has impossible ever stopped you? So you'll definitely have to double check the singing and the uh, the the vocal parts on that. Um, the first, you know, the first couple lines. But that's basically what you're gonna be doing. It's Saturday was silent, surely it was through. B minor, so you're just doing a D for those first two lines. Saturday was silent, surely it was through to the B minor. But since when has impossible to the A sus ever stopped you? So that's kind of where that nice little cool riff goes in. So it's gonna go uh, D, Saturday was silent, surely it was through to the B minor. But since when has impossible ever stopped you? So that riff is just uh, your G. G to the D over F sharp, and I'm hitting that D over F sharp with my thumb. So it's to the D. So G, D over F sharp. D, or just a G, and then hit that bass note. I guess it could be a G over F sharp, uh, but either, either way, it's do, 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 to the D. So do, 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 and when I've been playing to it and just kind of jamming to it, um, I, when I play, you know, when I get to that part, I don't really do full, not initially, it's just kind of more like you're, you're focusing on those top strings, on, the, on hitting those bass notes. Do, do, do. So anyways, that is how you do the verse. So then after the verse one, it'll kind of hang on this D for a minute. And then it goes into verse two. Same structure, same chord progression. Friday's disappointment. Sunday's empty tomb. To the B minor. But since when has impossible ever stopped you? Do, do, do. So you always do that little, you know, riff. Do, do, do. You always do that twice. 
um, leading into the chorus. So in between verse one and verse two, you're just hanging on to that D. But in between verse two and the chorus, you'll do that riff twice. Do, do, do. So then that leads into the chorus, which is the first chorus is, is a down chorus. There's not a ton of, uh, you know, energy, but so you're just, you're hanging on the D um, and then you're, you also hear a riff, but it's not the same one as do, do, do. So it's going to actually be A, G, D. So when, when you do it quickly. do the G like this or like that whatever way you want to but again it's A G D so that'll sound like this is the sound of the dry bones rattling this is the praise to make a dead man walk again so you're doing that um, right after you hit the D chord on the chord so this is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. Open the grave. So this couple of chord changes. We're going B minor to the A to the G to the D. So once we start with Open the grave, I'm coming out, I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound of the dry bones rattling. And then that's, so at the end of the chorus, it's a little confusing, at the end of the chorus, you go back to that little riff on the, the G, D over F sharp, D. So I know that was a lot. We're going to just kind of double back and make sure we know what's going on. Um, so again, the chorus, starting from the top, we're going, This is the sound of dry bones rattling. This, this is the praise make a dead man walk again. Open the grave, I'm coming out. I'm going to live, going to live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. And at the end of each chorus, um, you're gonna do that, you're gonna do that little riff three times. One, two, three. So End of the first verse, you just do that riff twice. End of the chorus, you do that riff three times. But remember that riff on the end of the chorus is different than the riff during the chorus. During the chorus, it's A, G, D. The riff at the end is D, G, D over F sharp, D. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have questions, definitely just kind of like let me know on that. It's a, there's a lot of stuff going on in a very, you know, simple four chord song, but um, the, the changes are cool and it kind of really makes it sound fun to, to play and kind of to jam to. So anyways, um, so out of the chorus, we do that riff three times. Do, do, do. And that goes into uh, verse three, verse four, where that's those are the same chords, same pattern um, as as the first two verses. You're just going to be kind of building that up a little bit, kind of building the energy. Um, and then it goes into uh, this the second chorus, um, and the the second chorus is the same as the first one. It's just that this is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. I'm 
gonna open the grave, I'm coming out, I'm gonna live, gonna live again. This is the sound, no dry bones rattling. Three times. So then that'll go into just kind of, you know, just you'd be hang on to, hanging on to this D chord for a little while, and then eventually you'll get into um, the bridge, which for the bridge, you can hang on to the D chord um, for basically the entire thing until um, until we get to the very end. So uh, let me remember how this goes. My God is able to say and deliver and heal and restore anything that he wants to just ask the man who was thrown on the bones of elijah if there's anything that he can't do so that yeah so that's basically you're just kind of p picking and i'm just doing down strums kind of at least initially in the bridge the first part just because it's you know you're building it's a little bit softer so my god is able to save and deliver and heal and restore anything that he wants to just ask the man who was thrown on the bones of elijah if there's anything that he can't do. So then here where we go into just ask the stone that was rolled at the tomb. So that's where we're kind of building up a little bit. Um, and so we're still gonna hang on the D. Just ask the stone that was rolled at the tomb in the garden what happens to what happens when God says to move? I feel Him moving right now. I feel Him moving right now. I feel Him moving right now. Uh, so, okay, so the first line is I feel Him moving it now. Then it's I feel Him doing it now. I feel Him doing it now. Okay, so it's gonna go I feel Him moving right now. I feel him doing it now. I feel him doing it now. Do it now. So, so you can do, um, so it's basically the same, same riff as the, as the verses. So it's do, do, do. You can do that if you didn't want to throw in this A chord before it. So the, the, the riff goes, I feel him moving right now. I don't know why I keep saying moving right now, but I feel him moving it now. I feel him doing it now. I feel him doing it now. Do it now. So you can do that full, I feel him pace us, G, D over F sharp, D. You can do that if you didn't want to do the A chord, you could just go, I feel him moving right, I feel him moving it now, moving it now, I feel him doing it now, I feel him So you would just basically be adding in an extra beat there on I feel him moving, moving it now. I feel him doing it now. I feel him doing it now. Do it now. And then you hit the, you hit the B minor to the A sus, leading you back into the chorus. So hope that helps that's a lot of kind of like quick changes a lot of movement it's not really an acoustic driven song um but that you know if you just want to jam along to it or if you want to lead it in a study or whatever it may be um that's gives you a little bit of a template to to work with 
And then so lastly, if you wanted to do it um, with the G chords, so I'm not gonna go through the whole song, otherwise this will probably be like a 40 minute tutorial, but I'm just gonna show you the chords. Um, so if we, if we do it with the G chords, um, our verse is going to start with the G instead of starting with uh, the D. So um, it's gonna go G. Saturday was silent. Sunday was through. E minor. D. C. So just I guess I'll I'll back this up and say the riff for the verses is. So that would be just your C at nine to the G over B to the G. So. So that would be your your riff um, for for the verse, um, and you know coming out of the choruses. Um, yeah, so it would just be the verse would be G. Saturday was silent, surely it was through E minor, but since when has impossible to the D uh, ever stopped? Do, 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 do. So remember, that's kind of your riff getting into, um, you know, the, the verse two um, or kind of getting out of the uh, chorus or the verse. So anyways, that'll go into verse two. The chorus is just going to be G. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Uh and the, the riff for this one is going to be D, C, G. So, so this is the sound of dry bones rattling. This is the praise make a dead man walk again. I'm going to live or open the grave. E minor. I'm coming out. I'm gonna see, gonna live again. This is the sound of dry bones rattling. Three times. Coming out of the chorus. And then, uh, yeah, so, so the bridge is going to be uh, just, you're hanging on that G. My God is able to save and deliver and heal and restore anything that he wants to. And then you would just kind of ride that out to the end of the, the bridge and then it'll go back into the chorus. So hopefully that just kind of gives you an idea. If you wanted to play the easy G chords, what that would look like. Again, it's just four chords. You might have to rewind and skip back in the video, or write a few things down to just kind of uh, figure some of these things out. But I think that'll give you a good template and a good, uh, a good starting point for the song. So as always, if you need help on this, just leave a comment, um, ask a question, leave a like, Give me a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, leave a song that you want to do a tutorial on or you want to learn and, and you want me to do a tutorial for you on it. Um, all that good stuff. So good luck, take care, and I'll talk to you soon.